Hey everybody and welcome to this episode of Travels with Bill. We're in Camsack, Saskatchewan, checking out some Christmas lights all around town. This guy's at the end of Main Street. He's part of the town's Christmas display. It's just a treat, but it looks kind of cute, doesn't it? Speaking of the town, check out the Camsack town office. Now they've gone all out here. They've got a snowman up on the roof, another one on the ground, and lots of lights all across the town office to make sure they're looking very festive. This is kind of cool too. This is on the sidewalk right out in front. They're projecting a Merry Christmas with some moving elements there. And then you look up and way up, well, there's Frosty the snowman all lit up. He's not the only snowman around here though. This little guy's been made too. Now he's having a bit of a rough life because it's been warm out lately, but it still looks a little bit like a snowman, doesn't it? Some candy canes complete the look here at the town office to give it that nice red Christmas glow. We're in Campsack just after Black Friday to take a look at what's already up for lights. And I know not everybody has their Christmas lights out, but you'll get to see the early adopters here. There's that Santa Claus train. I always love seeing Santa conducting the reindeer down the track and a giant Santa as well. Now, for this tour, we went all over Campsack, drove street after street. I can't point you to a map that really shows you where all the best houses are, but I can tell you this, Campsack isn't too big, so it's not that hard to wander around the whole town. Give yourself 20 minutes, half an hour, and you can probably get to see all of these houses, plus the ones that have put up their lights in the meantime. One of the best things you can do in Camp Sack is, well, I suppose hot chocolate. But me, I'm more of an ice cream eater while I like looking at Christmas lights. So I have to admit, when we were filming this, we stopped in, got some ice cream. My favorite at the moment is the caramel candy apple. So you get that in a bowl with a spoon, and you drive around looking at Christmas lights, eating a little ice cream here, a little ice cream there, and, well, pretty soon you've had yourself a pretty nice evening. Now, if we've missed your house, I'm really sorry about that. We tried to get as many houses in here as we could tonight so you can see all of what there is in Campsack. And it stretches from the really simple to the really complex houses. In fact, there's a really neat one coming up here in a couple minutes time that I'm gonna tell you a lot more about. I've always liked when you can go for a bit of a walk. So here's one of those shots where we start with one house and we're wrapping all the way around it because it's decorated right on the corner, 7th Avenue and 1st Street there as you can see. And then we're gonna carry on right to the neighbor's house too because they have also decorated. So it's well worth a stop and going for a walk. Now you see the sidewalks there, they're not all plowed, at least not yet in Camsack. So you may have to have your walking boots on. I like that let it snow up on the house there. Now it shows up a little bit different on camera than it does in real life. And if you've been watching our Christmas lights, you know that what you see on camera isn't exactly perfect. It's pretty close, but the different colors of light show up a little bit differently at night. So it's not quite the same in real life. Check out these guys. Oh, it's kind of cool, isn't it? I love the polar bear there. He's so bright and white and looks absolutely perfect. And this is one of those houses, no colored lights at all, just the white lights, but so amazing looking. This isn't that far away and this is the first time I think I've ever seen these guys. It's a moose of course but the moose is right beside two Canada geese. They look cute. I had to go right into the yard here so sorry if it's your yard but I had to get a close-up because those are such unique ornaments. We don't see them a lot of places. They're sitting there with the moose and then some Christmas tree in it there as well. Again a simple house but it looks so amazing at night to see something a little bit different than what everybody else has. This is another one of those blue houses. Now it's showing a little better than it does sometimes so you can see what's blue and what's white. They have a polar bear in there as well. Check out the trees though. I've always been partial to those. I don't know what you call that exactly, but you know the tree of lights I suppose is the best way to put it kind of expensive but they certainly look amazing i've only seen them a few places and they're usually a couple hundred bucks but hey they are pretty neat decorations see the garage in the background there they're projecting onto it too so the entire house is covered you can see some snowflakes there as well there's not a bit of the house that doesn't have lights Here's the really cool one. And they said, oh, why did you come today? You should come back in a few more days because we're not done yet. 
I love the fence around the outside. They tell me there's a bunch more decorations to go up in the yard. So by the time you're seeing this in Camsack, well, this house will have even more. They said, by the way, they just moved here from Red Deer, so they're kind of new in town. Want to show Camsack how Christmas is done? So they're going to get all set up and see if they can blow you away with just how many lights. Now, of all the houses on the tour tonight, this is probably the best one already. And if they're going to add a bunch more decorations, well, I can tell you, it's going to be even better when it's done. The lady there is really friendly, too. I stopped and talked to her for a little while, and she's excited about Christmas. Well, of course, everybody's excited about Christmas. What are you, a Grinch? Now, Campsack's changed their speed limit as of late, so it's 40 kilometers an hour on the streets in Campsack. You probably want to be thinking about that when you're looking at the Christmas lights, because the last thing you want is a ticket from Mr. Police Officer for going a little too fast. And if you are new to Campsack, you may not know this, but the streets are kind of, well, they're different. Some go this way, some go that way, and it's a little bit hard at first to figure out the exact layout of the town. But if you drive up and down the streets, certainly in the downtown area, they all lay out one way. And then when you get a little further out, they're the opposite way. You'll figure it out pretty quick. And even if you do end up seeing the same house a couple times, well, it's not such a bad thing, is it, to see the lights a few extra times? You'll figure it out. If you're visiting Camsack, for sure. Now, there's a couple different restaurants in town. The co-op gas bar has, like, chicken, and it has some potato wedges, all that sort of stuff. Uh, you can pick up that food there if you're looking to go wandering. If you're looking for more fried food, I suggest you check out Chester's or Dixie Cups. And if you're thinking Chinese, Lamb's is amazing Chinese. They've got a buffet there some nights. Worth checking it out. The Iron Grill in Campsack as well. That's one place I haven't tried yet, but I've certainly heard some good reviews from people. So worth checking them all out. This house is right on the main drag coming into Campsack. If you're coming from Duck Mountain Park, check out the trees there though. Just a simple string of Christmas lights through them and it looks nice too. It's a great way to be welcome to town. Right across the street from this one, it's another kind of simple house. You'll see it here in a second. Here it is. See the trees? I like that. And the front window has some lights as well. Very nice, very simple, but elegant at the same time. Isn't it amazing we get a whole bunch of neighbors all decorated together? Well, that's the case we have here. So we start at the one house and we're just going to go down the street from house to house to house as we check this all out. Now, they've got some neat lights that blink a little bit here on this one, but they've also got one of those laser projectors going on. That gives a pretty nice look to the house. The newer style ones are bright like this. The older ones are a little faded. See the garage in the back there? Some snowflakes happening on it. And we're already transitioning to Mr. Neighbor's house here. They too doing the laser light show on the front of the house, but some traditional Christmas lights along the edge. Why don't you take a moment and tell us in the comments down below what you think is the best house in Campsack, and if you know of one that's not already in the video, well put its address there too so people can find it. Here we get to Blow Up City, and it's Spider-Man, plus a little bit of fish action, and of course, a minion. Well, that's modern day Christmas for you, isn't it? See the lights again on the house? That actually looks pretty neat. If you have the regular Christmas lights, then add a little more to it. It's got a nice look to it. Fourth house in a row with Christmas lights. You know this block's quite into Christmas. They've that more original, elegant style. Some lights in the trees there. Actually looks good when that light comes on too, right at the door. Spices everything up just a little bit more. If we take a swing back here, we'll take a look at the block. Well, see, that's certainly worth a drive to see that many houses in a row, isn't it? Part of town that's a little bit harder to get to is by the hospital. Now you'll see the big apartment building. Our friend Ryan Cowan's involved in that. Now, of course, if you check out the Roblin video, you'll find out all about Ryan Cowan and what he's been up to. But if you turn there, it's kind of tough to get in. But if you go to the hospital and just sort of follow along through, you'll end up in a little street that doesn't really come back out to the highway. And you'll start to see some bigger houses and some bigger Christmas lights like Olaf. And of course, Sven is there too, enjoying Christmas on the front yard. Many of the houses are pretty cool in that area and again house after house after house has lights. Now when I was doing the research on the Camsack video to see who to make sure we could see, there's one house I couldn't find and I spent some time looking for it so I don't know if maybe they didn't have the lights up yet or if they just weren't on or if maybe well, something else has happened. In any case, I didn't find it, but that gives you something to look for when you're in Campsack. See these ones? They're those fancy RGB changing lights. These ones are set to just red and white. It doesn't show up as good on the video as it does in person. 
kind of have to see this one in real life to really appreciate it. Same thing with this one next door too. Those lights are changing all sorts of colors, but unfortunately in the video, most of them end up looking white because of the way the camera is interacting with the house there. You can see how they're moving. You just can't necessarily see the colors properly in the video. Very worthwhile seeing this house in person too. Here we've got a beautiful green tree. Now the rest of the house just has those little sparkly bulb things to it. There's some color in them in real life. Again, we're seeing it more white here washed out, but I love the tree. The green lights in that green tree make it look divine. Now I found a neat thing with a star in a tree. So they've hung this in a natural tree and then there's a tail comes down from it to the house. So it looks like a shooting star. Very neat setup. House is done with some green floodlights there, some red lights too. And I assume there must be some kids here because look at that. They've got a Grinch Christmas tree. It's so heavy loaded down at the top, it's already falling over. Neat snowman there too. I want to pull back though and give you another look at that star because this is something you could do to really spice up your house if you're getting into the Christmas thing. It's not that hard to do, but it looks so cool. If you have a tree like this sitting, well, throw a star in it, make a little tail, and away you go. Here's another more traditional looking house, some icicle lights there in multicolor, a little bit of a blue tree going on out front, but again, very nice look for Christmas. Well, that pretty much does it for our tour of Cam Sack, Saskatchewan. If you haven't already subscribed to Travels with Bill, we'd love for you to hit that subscribe button. You'll see the rest of the Christmas light videos we're doing this season, plus oh so much more as we travel around Manitoba, Saskatchewan, and indeed all of Canada, looking at some of the coolest things you might not know exists and we get a chance to show them to you. Here's a couple bears having a little dance. Farewell for now from Cam Sachs, Saskatchewan, and Merry Christmas.